Okay, so in this part, we're going to create outlines for the sword. So the first thing we, we have to do is um, start Photoshop. And we're going to create uh, a new document. Uh, I use uh, an A4 format. Uh, it's an European format. It's uh, 210 in height and uh, uh, 297 in width, a landscape. Uh, you can use whatever uh, uh, document size you like. So now we, the first thing we do is create a new layer. Name it background. And first thing I need, I do usually is uh, set the, a background color something like grayish because I find it better to work this way. And uh, we press B to activate the brush tool. So Shift Command N to create another layer, and this is going to be sword outline. And uh, now you can choose some kind of a darker color and start designing. So the first thing we're just gonna make some kind of a you know some kind of interesting shape. And uh, we can start designing the the weapon shape. Usually you can try a couple of designs and see what uh, will fit your needs. I, uh, I I tested before a couple of times before I started drawing uh, this design and uh, I made a couple of sketches and I found uh, this design probably the best for me. Uh, you can choose whatever you like. Uh, this is just uh, simply going to be used later on as outlines for um, uh, as reference in Maya so we can create it in uh, 3D and uh, probably the best part is uh, the best thing is to uh, make a couple of designs and choose whatever you like but uh, because of the sake of time uh, I had to minimize uh, drawing and simply put uh, one shape one design and uh, you know I cho chose the design that I liked and uh, what, 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 did, what we did here is we simply click command T and uh, scaled it and uh, now I click B tool to activate the B brush again brush tool and continue drawing So, so when you when you find something uh, good, something that you like, something that is going to be probably be enough from what you look for. So the first thing that you do, or what I usually do, is uh, when I find this like this part good, or I mean the whole design good, is uh, the first thing that I do. I simply click Command T and scale it a little bit so I can. Uh, fit uh, whatever need I like. So because the part when I start is usually the front side, after I have designed what I like and I believe uh, it looks good, so now we just uh, continue with the process of uh, making um, the other planes. So what we usually do is uh, I uh, create uh, a new layer and I call this layer lines. Oops. Okay, so in this layer I'm going to use reference line that uh, going to be sent down and from there on uh, create the top point of view about the sword and the back point uh, about the sword. So create a new layer, simply top view. And I create the lines again. So uh, activate the, B, uh, the brush tool by clicking B. And now what I usually do is find the end point of uh, the sword, click shift and drag. And this is going to give me a straight line down 
uh, okay select this part in here cl click shift click down and uh, again so so finding like um, the points that I need but probably in this case this won't uh, uh, get used for me because this is going to be down uh, the bottom part of the sword so this is not going to be f uh, seen from the top uh, viewport so what I usually have to do is uh, uh, use this line so this is probably going to be the end of the sword this line is going to be uh, the point where it meets with the, the handles this point in here is going to be seen this point also is going to be seen this point is going to be seen and uh, this and the end one and after that I choose to create uh, a line that uh, is going to be the middle of the top uh, viewport of the sword so after I've done this uh, I can usually uh, go down and bring the opacity also down to uh, the lines and select the top uh, view or the layer top view so as you see like in here probably so this is probably the part where it's gonna be you know the it's gonna be the the midpoint of the sword where it meets with the blade so we'll put it something like this and this part in here it's gonna be also the part, the extension that's met, so it's going to look something like this. So since this is going to be like in here, and this is how it's going to look like. So now we continue with the uh, with uh, the handle scroll. go back again again and this is going to be the part of end of the handle so this is going to be kind of interesting because because uh, some interesting designs are going to be used as um, some something like maybe a head a demonic head or something like uh, let's say some kind of a, also some kind of a design so, okay, so now after we create the handle, probably I'm going to make uh, this part a little bit bigger. So, the handle will go like uh, like uh, less in here and bigger in here. So, it will go some, something like in the form of a cone. Something like this. And uh, as you see, here are the parts that are going to be connecting with the blade and the handle so we make them kind of a small than this part in here so what I usually do is uh, shift and click and drag something like this so here when when I use uh, the shift click uh, method simply hold shift and start clicking and you will see you know the lines pop up okay probably good so now again and again and man plus to zoom in maybe we made this part a little bit thicker and we're gonna correct that And minus to zoom out and so we do shift command and create another layer call it back view we again create the line uh, select the lines layer 